all right. And what I'm going to try to do is just use the zero product rule initially, just to, you know, it's something I, I favor. But again, you may not favor that. And let me take a look at that. And, you know, the 10 is kind of interesting because you can do 2 and 5 and 10 and 1. I'm going to try 10x and 1x. And the 14, I'm going to try 7 and 2. And this is equal to 0, right? And what do you get there? I'm going to say plus, plus. And I want to see if it works. I get 10x squared. That worked beautifully. Then I get 20 plus 7, which is 27x. That worked beautifully. And I get 14. So what are my answers over here? x equals minus 7 tenths or x equals minus 2. Let's get a red pen out. And let's see if we see those answers. And I see them here and here. Now let's talk about the method they're doing in this section of the text, though. And what I'm looking at is looking at the 10. Now certainly, uh, before I do that, I want to rewrite it in the form we need to write it in, which is 10x squared plus 27x equals minus 14. So I need to make the 10 a perfect square. And certainly multiplying by 10 would work. But then I need to make that coefficient on the 27 even. So what I'm going to do is multiply by... 40. All right? So what do you get over here? 400 x squared plus 40. And these numbers are, I mean, it's, it's really unpleasant to write this down. But um, again, it's, we're learning something. And that's going to be minus 14 times 40. All right? And I need to complete the square now. And what's that going to be? That's going to be 27 squared now. And plus 27 squared. All right, let's see if we can do it. And I'm going to write it down now. And we'll check it as I write it down, too. 20x plus 27 squared. You know what? I don't want to do that. I'm going to go a little bit further down because I realize it's interfering with the other thing there. You might get confused by it. So I'm going to write it over here. 20 x plus 27 squared. Well, I got to do some work here, don't I? 27 squared. And I think you can appreciate how much more work this was than just doing this over here. This was kind of simple, especially if the numbers are small. These, these are kind of annoying numbers. 7 times 7 is 49. 14, 18. 2 times 7 is 14. And then you get 5, 9, 12, 7. Oh, I got more to do, don't I? And then I got to do 14 times 40. And I think you can see how much more work this is. 4 times 0 is 0, 16. And then you get 400. That's 560. Well, I got to do 560 now. Uh, gee, you get 9. I'm going to borrow a 12, that's 6, 169. Okay, let me, let me uh, start doing the work now. This is 20x plus 27 equals plus or minus the square root of 169, which is 13. That wasn't so bad. Then you get 20x equals minus 27 plus or minus 13. And then you get x equals... Minus 27 plus or minus 13 over 20. I must do the arithmetic. Let's write this down. X equals minus 27 minus 13 is minus 40. And minus 40 divided by 2 is minus 2. Or what's the other one going to be? Well, minus 27 plus 13, which is going to be 14 over 20, which is 7 tenths. I'm sorry, minus 7 tenths. Let me check that again. Minus 27 plus 13 is minus 14. And minus 14 divided by 20 is minus 7 tenths. Am I getting the same results? I'm getting the same results. All right? Thank you.